In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on principal value branch. The numerical problems that we've already seen are sine inverse, cos inverse, secant inverse, cosecant inverse, tan inverse and next in succession not far behind from you and me is cot inverse. Let's see how to solve the question of principal value branch based on cot inverse x. Now cot inverse, the first part is root 3. When is the value root 3? Root 3 means the cot value is root 3 when the tan value is 1 upon root 3. Tan is 1 upon root 3 at 30 degrees which is pi by 6. So, my answer to this would be what? Would be similar to tan inverse 1 by root 3 which is nothing but as pi by 6. And does pi by 6 lie in the principal value branch of cot inverse? Yes, because principal value branch as we learnt from the table earlier is 0 to pi. So, there is no issue with it. My answer is clear. It is pi by 6 which is the answer. But is the question finished? No, because it was not only one part, it was another part also. Let's see the second part, which is cot inverse minus under root 3. Let's write it. Cot inverse minus under root 3. When is the value of cot negative? This has to be considered. So, cot inverse minus under root 3 would have been same as minus 5 by 6. But does minus pi by 6 lie in the range 0 to pi? No. So what to do? We need to include the value which only lies in this range 0 to pi. Hence, we need to change some things. Pi by 6 should not be there. It should be minus pi by 6. Minus pi by 6 can be modified to, to pi minus pi by 6 which is 5 pi by 6. Why 5 pi by 6? Because otherwise we could not have included minus pi by 6 in the answer, in the principal value branch. So my answer is nothing but pi minus pi by 6 which is 5 pi by 6. And this is the answer to the question of cot inverse x wherein the value was given as minus under root 